hello everyone and welcome to the channel in this video i'm going to show you how you can use this web search api open perplex locally on your system there are two ways of using it either you can get it installed locally the whole stuff or you could use their api which is quite generous before i show you both of the methods let me give you a quick overview of this tool so this tool is an open source project which is a search api that's like swiss army knife of web queries you can do full searches with sources citations and relevant questions and you can go to this website where you can see the demo and you can ask something like who is Fat mirza uh, the ai youtuber and then you can start searching with it and you see it has given the response about me that who i am from linkedin and all that stuff and also my youtube channel and it just goes on and on and there are some citations and then there are a few other questions which you can click and then find out how good is that and then it has even gone in and searched my videos too so there are really really good stuff here i'm very impressed by it now uh before I sh another thing which you can do with it is that you can stream search for real time updates. You can even do website content retrieval, which we just saw, and you can even just give it a URL um, based query. Like you can ask, for example, what is fahadpizza.com about? So press enter. There you go. You see, so it has just gone in and just loaded my website. And then has provided all the information from there that fahadmirza.com is a pivotal resource for anyone looking to deepen their understanding and skills in AI and cloud engineering. So this is, I think, written on the top of my website. So this is one thing. It is quite developer friendly and I will show you how easy to install it. And another thing is that if you want to get the API, as I mentioned earlier, all you need to do is just click here, unleash AI power. It is going to ask you to sign up with your github or with your google account and you can easily get 500 requests per month on the house how good is that so really i mean it seems that the project has been created with fellow developers in mind aiming for a balance of power and simplicity the only problem is and i think maybe that's an uh necessary evil is that if you're looking to get it installed locally the steps are simple but the real problem comes when you have to have a lot of API keys and let me show you why. This is one method of installing it. So provided you have a very good system with GPU and all that stuff, all you need to do is to clone this repo by using this command, install all the requirements and then create an ENB file and then run this project. Now this is very simple, only four lines. It is going to start at your local host at port 8000. But the problem arises when you have to grab the API keys from all these four. So I have tried it out, the problem, and I have free keys from all these four. And the free key means that you have some throttling, you have some limits. So even with the new accounts with new free API keys, this just got exhausted within first search. So I couldn't get anywhere, so it seems that if you really want to run it, you would have to buy the API keys from these all four providers. And that is quite expensive, especially if you are trying to run it on a regular basis, then it could become quite a, I would say, a barrier in terms of using this open source tool. I mean, the day will come when we would have to get these API keys, the tool will come open source free. We will just git clone it, install all the requirements and then simply give it you know just run it and use it without any api key or any maybe i'll just generate an api key locally and use it but and i think that day is still far and i believe that more than agi and all these shiny models maybe something like this may be uh, more valuable because it will add real business value anyway so this is one method um if you have the budget if you are in a production environment maybe go for it but otherwise if you are a hobbyist and you just want to play around with it i don't think so this is a good way of doing it at the moment now before i show you the way the easier way of doing it and while 
trying to get um, advantage of their 500 request api calls from free api which you can grab from here by clicking try our search api here let me give a huge shout out to mast compute for sponsoring the vm and gpu for this video if you're looking to rent a gpu on affordable prices i will drop the link to their website in video's description plus i'm also going to give you a coupon code of 50 percent discount on a range of gpus okay so that said and done now let me take you to my terminal where i'm running ubuntu 22.04 as you can see and this is my gpu card nvidia rtx 6000 with 48 gb of vram just because we'll be using the api based model you don't even need a gpu for this so let me clear the screen and no sorry let me clear the screen and let me create a virtual environment with conda and then we will see how can we use this open perplex easily so let's wait for this conda environment to get created and activated and the environment is done let's install open perplex by just doing pip command that shouldn't take too long now and that is already done now i'm assuming that you also have grabbed your api key from them so let me clear the screen let me launch my python interpreter and show you how you can use this open perplex by simple python code so first up let's import the open perplex that's done next up let's initialize our open perplex client so here just type or in your api key and then close it so let me specify my key here and clear the screen so i have cleared the screen and now let me do the web search with the help of this open perplex so you see all we are doing it we are just using that client we are specifying our search query and then you can even give the date context this is a location you can go with any other fr like for france uk and all that stuff and then response language is auto whatever you can change it to in spanish or whatever language you like and then the pro mode is false and answer type is markdown you can get get it in text or html so let's wait for it to run and that has returned you can print the result from llm so you see how good the result is this is all latest development in ai so it has given it in this markdown format if you just for the sources you can let me clear the screen and show you the sources there you go so these are the citations which it has done let me run another search so i am asking it who is fahad mirza the ai youtuber and by the way this search means i have only consumed one credit how good is that so i can run 500 queries like this this is really generous i mean my uh, huge respects to the developers and the creators this is very generous so let's see what is the LLM response yep that's correct that's me and then let's see what are the sources let me clear the screen there you go so it is just telling, talking about youtube and you know my um, ace record my blog and all that stuff so really really good stuff here very impressive I think uh, one of the really cool use case which I could just think from top of my head is that if you are testing any LLM for agentic for function calling for tool use, maybe generate that function signature or function call from the LLM and then use this web search API to do the web search if, you, if your function needs it, how good that would be. I think I'm going to be using this more and more in my projects. So it looks really cool. I hope that this survives. So that's it guys i will drop the link to it in video description and if you are from these four companies somehow who knows you never know where is that yeah and you want to sponsor the channel with this some credits for um this video and subsequent one please feel free to reach out if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed please share it among your network because it helps a lot thanks for watching